Hello and welcome to uh, episode minus one of my magic seven for Blood and Honor. Um, yeah, so I was planning to make an episode zero to explain the system setup that I have for the game. The problem is I did not find a good setup. So I'm going to document effectively what I have so far, pending a better solution. And maybe someone can also come up with some ideas and suggestions as to how to solve a particular problem. Um, I got almost everything working as I like, but there's one snag that I would like to fix, and this is shown here. Um, so, to give a bit of context. My Magic 7 for Blood and Honor is much better than my Magic 6, the Magic of Heaven, also in the terms of technical things. It has Hardware Accelerated 3D, which actually looks much better than Software 3D, so that's really nice. And what I'm running this on is Wine, on Linux, of course. Um, and it has, by default, everything is working really nicely. I can use Drag Draw Hell hardware acceleration and it complains because it thinks that 8 megabytes of video memory is uh, the maximum that you should have or something. And it thinks that a few gigabytes is less than uh, 8 megabytes. Um, so that part is very fine and the patch also makes it so that hardware accelerator 3D should show correct sprites. I will need to double check whether that is indeed correctly solved, but that's the idea at least. But the problem is here, the audio. You can choose to disable Accelerate 3D audio, you can choose, and by default there are only two options available. It's Miles Fast 2D Precisional Audio and Direct Sound 3D Software Emulation. And if you're good, you will also have the option to use Creative Labs EX and Direct Sound 3D hardware support. Now these are the tricky parts. This game actually does include support for Creative Labs EX. And that's amazing! That means reverb in caves and everything else. I would really like to have this running. Unfortunately, it is more complicated than it seems. Now, how do I have it set up? If you, by default, use regular wine, you don't have this option, you just have the two options that I mentioned. None of these two options is particularly useful, and on top of that, the audio channels are reversed. Which is not great. It's not a big deal. I can play with headphones in the wrong order. And then I can also post-process the channel so that you, as the audience, can hear it properly. But it's still kind of a really big hack. Um, that's just one thing. Um, but anyway, so if you do want to get either EX or hardware support, which I don't think it does anything, so really it's the EX option that is interesting. If you want to get this option, you need to use a override DLL of dsounds.dll. And I can show it to you here. This is my Might Magic 7 folder. And we have dsound.dll. Um, originally, this would be provided by Creative Alchemy. Fortunately, Creative Alchemy does not work on Wine. You try to launch it and it says no supported cards have been found, and then it shuts down. If you copy the dsound.dll directly from Creative Alchemy into here, it says still the same thing when you launch the game in the log that it creates. So that's no good. So there are two other alternatives. One is indirect sound, which is what I'm using at the moment. Indirect sound does not support EX. But it does have the option to emulate EX. You can change things in dsound.ini and you can enable EX kind of override or EX fake emulation 
That means it does not actually provide any reverb or anything, but it does tell the game that it is available, so it can actually start in EX mode. And then the other option is to use the SOAL, which is a bit more of an advanced thing. It does support, at least in theory, um, EX by routing all the calls from direct sound into OpenAL. Because OpenAL has EFX, which is the kind of equivalent of EX, but in open source, rather than EX itself, which is closed source creative stuff. But from my experience, it doesn't actually give reverb, which is like the whole reason why you would want to use it in the first place. So I don't know why that works like this. Something must have gone wrong somewhere. But at least it is usable. Um, the other thing to consider is that this is using regular wine, but regular wine does not have EX support even to this day. However, wine staging does have support for that. If you look at wine config, sorry, it's in Lithuanian, but um, there is a button called staging, and there is an option to enable environmental audio extensions, EX. In theory, what this should do is that if you click this, EX should become available. And that means that by default, this should not require any overrides to the DLLs and such. But I cannot get that running. Like, it just doesn't do anything. If I don't use the DL override, I just don't get these options. And if I do use indirect sound, well, it still doesn't give me reverb. So, it somehow doesn't work, and I don't understand why. This should generally be the best option, so you choose um, wine staging, you enable EX, and then you should already get this. But it doesn't work, so that's a pity. Then I was thinking of maybe there's a solution using some virtual machines. Because there is the option of running a software emulation of EX. Creative themselves have released a few things for that. Um, one of them is the Creative X5 MB3. And that seems like a good idea. But if you try to run the game on VirtualBox, the video doesn't work. You only have Software 3D, because it requires hardware acceleration, and VirtualBox has now removed all hardware acceleration, except for Windows 7 or later. If you try VMware, it allows to use hardware accelerated 3D, but the audio is still not very useful. It still has the same problem, that you only have the two options for software. And if you want to use that, if you try to use one of those solutions, it still does not work properly. As in, if you use um, DSOAL, it simply crashes. If you use indirect sound, it works, but... Again, there's no purpose to it, unless you have a software EX emulator. And with a software EX emulator, if you try to run X5 MB3, what happens is that it says no supported cards have been detected. And it doesn't work. So, yeah. I tried all kinds of different things, different virtualization technologies, different ways of getting EX to work. And nothing works. Now, I also have a physical X5 card, the X5 Extreme Gamer. So if I was to find a way to pass it through to a virtual machine, perhaps that would be possible. Um, alternatively, I could somehow try to record it in actual Windows, but that would be very silly. Because, look at this, there is no support for windowed gaming, because your desktop settings must be set to high color 16-bit for White Magic 7 to function a window. And high color is a thing of the long, long past. 
everything now is at least 24-bit. And uh, that means that you can only run it full screen in the tiny resolution of 640 by 480. And that means you also cannot see the entire dashboard that OBS provides, which is terribly inconvenient. So, yeah. No, that's not great. And also in Wine, including Wine staging, even if you use indirect sound with EX, it still has the issue of having inverted audio channels. Now, um, the last thing that I tried to do here is to install uh, the XFI MB3 into Wine, hoping that maybe that would also have an effect. And actually did have a bit of an effect, but it's not an effect that uh, I would have expected. Rather, it did fix the inverted audio channels. And actually, also if you run the game in a virtual machine, it's also fixed there. So the inverted audio channels is some sort of a direct sound issue as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I can just show you how it looks like and how it sounds like, so that you get a bit of a feeling. But it doesn't actually, so when I installed MB3, it doesn't actually give you the XFX. So just to uh, show you... So things work. can hear things. Everything loads. Everything works. Also, really like music in this game. It is fantastic. This is the Song of Grass, if I'm not mistaken. You can hear that the enemies are this way. Let's go! I need to not die. It is uh, quite easy to die in this game. Ah, excellent! I learned it! This should be useful. This should be useful. Um, actually, I'm not sure if my 3D settings are correct. Because I think what you see here in the window is what you're supposed to see. So see, the bat's wings are green for the giant bat. For the vampire bat, the bat wings are blue. But if you look at it like this, the bat is tinted. That's not what I want to see. How? Also, amazing we can move. Ah, what a scrap. Ow! Ow! Got it. Well, I can't do it. I don't know. Thank you. 
Then those four lightning rats. They seem to be tinted blue. But I'm pretty sure that's not how they're supposed to look like. Here it shows that it's just like a regular rat with a yellow eye. Well, they are tinted somewhat, but they're not like entirely that color. So this one is with a black eye. Ah, what a scoop! Oh. It's also Jamfrats. Ah, what a scratch! Rat, that's a giant rat. It's also a that there is hissing from the right. Which is exactly what we want to hear. Because there is hissing from that side and there's nothing over here. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. So yeah, that's what I have so far. I'll try to fix the uh, hinting issue. And yeah, so if anyone has any suggestions, I'm... Uh, Happy to try things. Maybe I will also write something on Pogon or something. But anyway, um, see you soon with uh, Mind Magic 7, I think. I can start the game even if it's not ideal, and then maybe we can make it better later. But yeah, looking forward to it. Later.